I first met Peter in 1990 at a tennis tournament. I had heard a lot about him, but our paths never crossed. Then one day, as I was heading out to my match, I saw him sitting on the grass wearing classic all-white tennis gear and a black Grateful Dead bandana. And I guess you could say both my yin and my yang were intrigued. <laughs> the first impression of Peter by the York team, and probably by every team they played, was how old he was. <laughs> He uh, had already done his undergrad and was at York to do his MBA and then his PhD eventually. When he played with another postgrad teammate, Mike Dilworth, they were actually nicknamed Old and Older. Peter's greatest ability on the court was that he was not only a crafty shot maker, but he was also a lefty, which made his serve and his penmanship hard to read. Besides that, he was a strategist. So if all shots were equal on the tennis court, Peter would always have the edge because he was a thinking man and he really understood the game of doubles. I remember the first doubles advice he ever gave me, which was to always keep your partner in the point. Always keep him out of harm's way and allow him to do what he needs to do on the court. He was always able to bring out the best in his partners while inspiring them without adding the pressure that they sometimes feel when they're performing on the court. The benefit of him coming back to school later in life was that he also brought experience to the team so that the other members looked up to him, they respected him. Uh, he also brought a really good balance of competitiveness and fun to the team. His passion for the game was also infectious uh, and he was able to mentor a lot of the younger players who came through. Um, a funny story about Peter's time with the team was uh, that he had a really good relationship with the coach at the time, Eric Boyson. So even when Eric was unable to take the team to some matches, Peter would step in. So that naturally, when they arrived at the other courts, the opponents would think he was the coach. His doubles opponents would usually be tickled that they got to play the old guy. Then they'd lose the first set. And they'd probably be thinking something like, my grandpa's got some game. Then when the doubles lesson was over, like many before and many after, they'd just say that he's a really good player. Peter had a lot of achievements with the team during his five years at York University, including three team gold medal titles, two team silver medal titles, and one bronze medal. As an individual, he won three gold medals in doubles and one silver. He was also a three-time OUAA All-Star. Peter is most proud of two things in particular at York. One was the dream team that was put together, including players like Jason Pun from Notre Dame, Mike Dilworth from Wake Forest, Flavio Vanico from Woodbridge. For him, that was his NCAA Division I team. He was also proud to have won three gold doubles medals with three different partners. Alex Nestor, who carries the same doubles gene as his brother Daniel, and probably the best player that Peter's ever played with. Ben Wu, who had never even played doubles before he came to York. And Mike Dilworth, a gifted player and the only guy as nice as Peter's brother Paul. I think I have a unique perspective on Peter as a partner, as I've been his life partner and his doubles partner for the past 25 years. I can't think of a single fond memory I have of Peter because every day that we've been together has provided awesome memories. He's the kind of guy that shows up not just when you want him to, but when you need him to. I love that he always puts family first. I love that he's the smartest and the goofiest guy in the room at the same time. One minute he'll be having a conversation with a client the next a conversation with the cat. After graduation, he brought the same attributes that made him successful on the tennis court into his personal and professional life. In 1998, he created a company where he helps good leaders become better leaders so that companies can grow and maintain a healthy culture. He models and teaches teamwork, respect, transparency, and integrity. His company is suitably called People First. Peter, I think it's amazing that you're receiving this award because you're always the man behind the curtain encouraging, advising, coaching, making sure everybody else needs to get where they need to be. So on behalf of all your family, your friends, your business and tennis associates, and all your clients, I just want to say we love you, this award is well deserved, and we thank you for always keeping us in the point.